There are over 200 different types of cells in the human body, but they all derive from the same starter cells, stem cells. There are two major types of stem cells, pluripotent and multipotent. The pluripotent stem cells are harvested from embryos, and these cells can differentiate into all the different cell types in the human body. Multipotent stem cells are found in adults. They are localized within specific organs, and these stem cells can then differentiate into the different cell types within that specific organ. So they are more specialized. When stem cells are not differentiating, they can self-renew through mitosis, which is cell division. So why is it important to study stem cells? Well, first of all, it can explain how a single cell can develop into a whole organism, but not only that, it can also explain how damaged cells are replaced during the healing processes in an adult body. Furthermore, observing living stem cells under different conditions could lead to medical advancements, such as cancer treatment, degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, or even organ failures such as heart diseases. In this video, we will observe stem cell division with images taken from the 3D Cell Explorer microscope. This microscope uses holotomography to image living cells based on their physical properties, the refractive index. Any colors that you see in the images are added digitally after the acquisition to highlight certain structures which interest us. Cell division, or mitosis, is a continuous process, but it is generally divided into distinct phases. We will be able to observe these different phases in the stem cell videos. It starts with interphase, where the DNA is copied in the nucleus and the cell prepares itself for cell division. These cells seem to be resting as all the activity is happening inside the nucleus. During prophase, the nuclear membrane dissolves and the chromosomes start condensing. Due to this condensation, you can identify these structures really well as they have a strong refractive index. This is when the chromosomes condense into the characteristic X structures that we see in textbooks. This X is formed by two sister chromatids containing identical genetic information. During metaphase, these chromosomes then align along the middle of the plate, preparing for the division of the sister chromatids. You can really see this neat lineup along the center of the cell. It is during anaphase that the sister chromatids are separated and pulled apart by the mitotic spindle to each opposing pole of the cell. This keeps one copy at each extremity of the cell, gathering a full set of chromosomes on each side. During telophase, a nuclear membrane forms around these chromosomes, creating new nuclear envelopes, and then the cell pinches in the middle to divide into two new cells. This is called cytokinesis. For stem cells to maintain their stem nature, if they are not differentiating, they need to constantly self-renew through mitosis, which is why we can see multiple mitosis in this video. Another interesting point to note out is the 3D structure of the cells during mitosis. If you rotate the image and look from the side, you may notice that during mitosis, the cell forms a spherical structure and then flattens out again after the separation. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of stem cells. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to analyze this data more in detail, you can just read the article below.